Hey, I'm KIC, and this is Northgard from Shiro Games. We have Shiro Games to thank today for the key I'm using to play, and I should probably mention right off the bat, this is Alternate Recording Cat, and she's getting ready to fly the coop. She doesn't apparently want to stick around. She doesn't like the, the sound of playing a game that's all about Vikings, the clearly the most well-known uh, peace-loving people to ever, I don't know, exist ever, or something like that. I don't know. Isn't, isn't that right, the Vikings? Oh, no, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm thinking about the Mongols. Sorry, I always get them mixed up. Anyway, uh, we're not talking about the Mongols today. We are, in fact, talking about the Vikings. This is a real-time strategy game that is kind of like a combination of, uh, well, I think of Civilization and then maybe Age of Empires, as the devs suggest. I can see that. Uh, they say Settlers. I've never actually played Settlers, be it Settlers, Settlers 2, Settlers 3 or any other number of them that may or may not exist. I don't know. I've never played any of those. I have, however, played uh, Age of Empires, both 1 and 2, and maybe, maybe 3? I don't, I don't really know. I've, I've played a few of them, though. What can I say? So, like I said, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, no? How about right there? Thank you. I couldn't click the other spots. I guess I was too far on the edge. Reminds me a little bit of playing Civilization, you know, the way you kind of have these areas, you get a little fog of war. I mean, I know that's not exclusive to Civilization, but just kind of the way you uh, progress and move around in the game, the scouting system, which we actually just got a scout and we're now throwing out. I don't know, something about it just kind of reminds me of Civilization, only uh, this is not turn-based. And by the way, I have exchanged cats. This is standard recording cat. You want to you wanna turn around? No? You just want to give cat butt to the cat cam? Well, I didn't call it cat butt cam, so whatever. Anyway, uh, we're probably going to be going for some sort of domination victory. There are multiple types of victories one can achieve. I think domination is probably about what's going to work for me. Uh, I don't know that it'll actually fly. Chances are it won't. I'm just saying. Uh, that's a nice empty tract of land that has nothing in it. It's actually not really ideal to expand to right now. I guess you could put some buildings in it, but uh, we'll talk, I hope, we'll talk a little bit more as we go along about how things work. And I will tell you right off the bat, just to be clear, all right, just to be clear, I'm terrible at this game. I think we've been clear, made clear about that, okay? I'm not very good. I'm not trying to pretend otherwise. We're going to need a training camp so we can make some warriors here. Well, let's pop that in place. So we can talk a little bit right now about this particular area. You can see my town hall is in the middle. That's kind of like your, uh, I don't know, your, mm, I don't know, nexus or spawning pool or whatever you want to think about in terms of command center. Is that StarCraft? I think that's right. In the bottom right, if you follow the cursor there, five out of five means five buildings. Uh, increase the number of possible buildings in the area only once. That's because that's the starting spot. Wood, two out of two. You can see there are trees, so we can harvest trees. Super important. You need a lot of wood in this game. And we have two villagers in the area and two woodcutters. And the villagers, these guys right here, are just collecting food. Uh, you can see up at the top, 81 minus three. We don't have a lot of food coming in. This spot right here is great because it has fertile land. You can see right there, zero out of two. We can make a farm and get more food. And then ooh, it also has lore. That could help us get some research and do stuff and learn stuff. Let us go ahead. What are we, how are we doing here? Um, you are working on a new villager. All right, that's good because uh, I'm going to steal this one and I'm going to make you a warrior. So you're going to pop out a new one momentarily. Basically, uh, it takes a little while. The game moves in terms of months and we're going to step across this land right here and... Uh, fight this guy right there. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to this land right there, and I'm going to colonize it. The way you colonize is by spending food, which I think is kind of an interesting mechanic that I, I'm i torn between liking and not liking. Uh, you can see I killed that wolf right there, and because of the particular clan we're playing with today, uh, I actually get food when I kill wolves and bears and that sort of thing. So kind of a nice little bonus. We got some uh, Draugr over there. Our territory is under attack. The... Um, Villagers will actually kill that wolf. We don't need to worry too much about it. There you go. The woodcutters are going to come over and help with their axes. I can send the warrior back just to help out. There you go. Get the nice final kill. Good job. And, man, they're... Uh, I'm, 
I'm taking too much time to just talk. Seriously, I really am. I need to be doing more stuff, like popping down a field here. And then I'm going to need to send a villager. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, let's send this villager over to this land. Because right now, if I just leave the villager over here, she won't do anything. None of them will. But if I send her into this particular territory, she will now take over the building, which we're kind of waiting on. And that will happen on its own. We don't need to do anything. Pretty fantastic, right? We're going to hit the point here where we are going to start losing money. Plus two town hall. That's how much money we have coming in from the town hall. Minus two building upkeep. That is getting ready to go up. That is going to be problematic once it does. Uh, I should also build a silo. Can I build one of those yet? Let's see, where are you? A silo. Man, we don't have a whole lot of wood. Um, I'm going to build a silo over here. We'll go ahead and do that. She'll move on to that next. And once we do that, we're going to move all of our food production to this area, at least for the time being. The reason why is that silo is going to give us a bonus to food production and food uh, storage, basically. You kind of, you know, store a little more food and uh, make a little more food. How is our scout doing, by the way? She's discovered a new area. Ooh, Wolf Cave. And then we have the Draugr Tombs there. Now, you might notice that little icon there. That's your, I want to call it infamy. Is that is that the right term? Uh, fame, infamy, sort of the same idea. The more you get, the more your abilities raise. We have other people in the game here. This is just kind of a uh, one versus the computer. You can see right now I'm at a fame of 20, which means I'm at the level of chieftain. Uh, next one is going to be fame. That's going to require 200. And then I want to say the next one after that is 500, if I'm remembering correctly. All right, look at that. You're done. Let's go ahead and put you on the farm. And then we're going to take... Um, let's see, what are you? You're a woodcutter, so I don't want to take you. We're going to put you over here. Uh, you, no, can I, can I not add you? There you go, good, I can. And then where is my other villager? We're going to send you over here, and we're going to send you over here, because anything they forage over here is going to be worth 10%. So we should have a ton of food coming in, which is fantastic. And actually, you know what? I'm going to send you back. I need another warrior. This one's pretty banged up, and I actually do need to make a healer's camp, a healer's hut. So let's go ahead and pop that down right here. That's going to be basically be the, the last thing we can build over here. And that'll help out once our... Um, let's see, where's, where's my warrior? There you are. Once that is built, we'll be able to probably assign her to be a healer. And that's going to help out because we're going to be able to uh, heal our warriors. Okay, now that you are in, I'm going to go ahead and send this guy in. Just for some little extra damage. I'm going to make sure you're on the side. That way, in case the wolf switches targets... I can actually see what's going on. That's perfect. And uh, I guess this one's not great for colonizing. It has wood. Oh, no, actually, take it back. This one's spectacular. All right, where is my scout? Let's see, uh, that one right there. I want you to come back because I actually want you to come back over here and explore those ruins. So we'll just kind of leave these guys hanging out over here. Where's the healer's hut? Uh, you don't have anyone in it. You can't actually really heal unless you have someone working on being a healer. Do we have any do we have any peasants over here who are doing anything? Any, any villagers? Just those? All right, wait a minute. You. You're a healer. What about you? Um, oh, I sent both of them over there. I don't, I don't actually need two healers. One is fine. I'm going to send you over here because you're going to build... I know. We need more houses. I know. Trust me, I know. That's in part why you're coming over here. You're going to build a house... And then uh, we don't have enough. Dang. All right. We're going to need some upgrades here soon, too. We need a mine. Is there a mine anywhere? Uh, you have iron. That would be great. Stone. We need to go over here because we need some... We need stone. We need that pronto, actually. Scout is working on stuff. All right. The healer, you can see, will automatically be healing stuff. So healing warrior, 89, 90%. It's going to go 91. Obviously, it'll keep going up until it's done. And then... She or he, whichever it is. We'll move on to the next one and we'll be okay. So we are up to two food there. We're doing okay. We're still not really bringing in enough food. That's really because it's winter right now. And food production is uh, short in winter. Which is why I want to get this area up and rolling. Because then I'm going to... Man, we don't have enough... <laughs> ah, Oh no, there's stone in this one too. I missed that. Oh, holy crap. This one is beautiful. I don't care if we can only do two buildings right now. Uh, fish and stone. Uh, we're going through a lot of wood right now. That's because in winter you need wood to keep warm. So you can see 
We're using five firewood per month right now, but or per turn, I guess, but we only have the woodcutters bringing in eight. What I'd really like to do, and what's going to be super important here, is going to this woodcutter's lodge and upgrading it, but I don't have any stone to do it, and we are officially at the point where we are losing money. So I've probably expanded too quickly, but this is my ace up the sleeve. Right there, 100 bucks and 50 lore. And just like that, we're ready to spend that lore on something. Uh, it's actually been ready for a while. I've just been ignoring it. Woodcutters will produce more wood. That sounds fantastic. And I don't have enough for that one yet. I will shortly. I really would like to do that. Really would. Uh, you. I'm going to put you on the lore box. I'm going to put you on the lore machine. That way we get more lore. And I would actually like to wait for that mine beforehand. Um, hmm. Bummer. So that's the stone right there. That's what we're going to build a mine next to, essentially. I would like you to heal. Are you working on the healer yet? You're working on the the, the, the villager. You're working on the warrior. All right, how are you doing? Perfect, 100. Mining efficiency. The reason I'm going to do that is... Oh, yeah, I know, I know. We're, we're under attack. Where are they? Uh, where are my, where's my war band? Over here, guys. Over here. Crud! Crud, crud, run! Ah, dang it, I couldn't get her to move. I could not get her to move. And now I've lost a villager. Oh, that's such a senseless waste. That is terrible. Hey, buddy. You're just scouting? You like what you see? I'll give you something to look at. There you go. Look at the backs of my warriors. Aren't they magnificent? So we can build a few more people here at this point. Not too much. There we go. Made it to a new year. The winter's gone. We're going to be bringing in a little more food now, and that is excellent. Let us build some crap here. Now we're going to build a mine. Let's see. That's this one, right? No. Hold on. Where are you? Mine. Mine, mine, mine. Down here. That's where it was. Okay, we're going to build a mine. We'll put this guy right there. I think that's our scout right there moving along. Oh, man. Who are you anyway? Just out of curiosity. You're a scout from the unknown land of the blue. And we need another villager over here. Do we have any spare ones? Uh -huh. We got three. Holy crap. All right. So you, congratulations. You're now a farmer. And uh, you guys, why don't you come over here? Actually, here. One of you, you stay over there. This one, you're going to come over here and you're going to enter the mines with this guy. There you go. You guys are going to hit the quarry. You're going to make some stones out of that. And you're going to hook me up quick, fast, and in a hurry because we need to make more buildings. This this place, unfortunately, is kind of full of buildings. Uh, we're going to get rid of that quarry once we're done. And then we'll build a fishing dock. That'll be just fine. I would kind of like to... Yeah, we don't... Oh, okay, we do have an extra villager. I would kind of like to increase my war band so I can have some more. Um problem we have is we need to get rid of all these guys, these wolves, so that we can claim this area. Problem is, there are a crap ton of wolves, and I only have one healer. Okay. Back you up before you die. Really could use another healer. This is just not going ideally. Did I mention I'm terrible at this game? I feel like I might have forgotten to mention that. Okay, let's get you over here where you're going to produce a little more food. Theoretically, more food. Hmm, that would be a good upgrade right there. I like the sound of that. How are we doing on lore? We're getting pretty close to being doing, being able to do something else. Increases your healer's healing speed by 50%, and healers will gather food when they are not healing. Uh, those are tempting, but we might want to go weaponsmith first, just to make our warriors a little more proficient. A little more efficient. Are there any other lands we can... I guess we can claim that one. We can colonize this guy. I just don't have a lot of spare food. That's I'm a little concerned about that. Especially because this one is only going to be good for putting in like a... Well, I am going to need some random buildings. I'm going to end up regretting this. Because I just don't have the food production necessary. But I don't think I'm going to be able to clear this anytime soon either of these spots. And I I don't 
Yeah, I, I can't get this one either. It's not even technically connected, I don't think. It's not. I mean, we're getting some good exploration on the map, but man, kind of backed into a corner here. These spots right here are really kind of the next places to go. Oh, we're ready to go. Weaponsmith. All right, let's go ahead and grab our warriors. They should be healed by now or close enough. With that extra 20% bonus, that should help out here. Get rid of that wolf. Okay. Kind of circle around like that. Get them to swing at someone else. Okay. And now let's move you around. That way the other guy gets hit. All right. Perfect. Good job, everyone. And crap. I think that was a tremor. Uh, those are bad. Uh, big earthquakes are not good. They they end up um, making things fall down and, and burn. It's not really good. So the good part about doing that is that pretty much offset everything I just spent in terms of uh, food to colonize by, by killing all these wolves. Now the question is, should I colonize this one too? I don't necessarily think we're in any... Oh, crap. You are right here. You're going to try, aren't you? I'm just going to... Ah, crap. I'm going to have to do it. I don't think I have a choice here. I think I have to do it. All right. Um, here we go. Got five stones. And we once again need to expand the clan's holdings here. We need to... Go bigger still. Oh, man. Uh, how are we doing on this guy? 12 stones remain. 23 stones remain? I'm not sure how to read that. It's it's a little confusing to me. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade the woodcutter's lodge. Oh, uh, no. We need to upgrade the town hall first. All right. Upgrade the town hall. And once that's done, then we'll upgrade some other things. We don't have enough money, so we're going to have to build... A trade depot over here, too. Do we have any... Okay, spare villager, you're going to go over here. You're a woodcutter. Uh, no, actually, come back. My bad. My bad. Come back over here. Oh, man. Um, these upgrades, if I can get them to trigger quickly enough, we'll be okay for a little while without them. Farmer, I'm just... I'm trying to do a little mental gymnastics here and seeing what we're having on food. Here, let's have you come over here and I'm going to actually have you build uh, where is it? Not that one. A defense tower. We're going to build a defense tower. This does not count towards the building limit in this area, so I can build three buildings in here. That does not count. So we're going to roll with that. And you're waiting around to do stuff, so I'm going to have to build a trading post. We need that in a hurry, because uh, we're running out of money here. Okay, are we still at our limit on people? Okay, that actually helped, so a little better there. Upgrading that guy helped, and then I'm going to be able to upgrade the Woodcutter's Lodge uh, once I have money again. Wow. Is it? Has it always been 50 gold? 50 crowns? I swear that went up recently, since I've last played, maybe. Maybe it didn't probably didn't. I'm probably just thinking it did, and it really didn't, but, um, wow. Sure feels like it went up or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Can I, can I go over here, maybe? No. Nope. Have not been over there. I need a scout to go over there and see what's going on. That would be helpful. All right, that building is done. Let's have you come back over here. Man, there are so many things that I would like to upgrade right now, and I just can't. So many things. You're going to be a trader as soon as you're done, so congratulations, you have a new career. There you go. Get me some money. Now bringing in one crown. Uh, I don't think we actually have any trade routes we can establish. Plus, I also need to research trading, so it's good timing on that since I had some lore just kicking around. Uh, I cannot start a trade route just yet. Bread. All right, I need you to I need you to get me more money and in a hurry. Uh, those guys are done, so let's send you over there, and then we're gonna build. Where's my fishing dock? 
Hmm. Fisherman's Hut will do that. Oh, no. Hold on. My bad. We're going to destroy that. The mine is depleted. So we can do that. It doesn't hurt anything to do it. No need for it to be there anymore. So we'll just get rid of it. And then we'll put the fisher fisherman's hut over here. And what we're going to end up doing is getting two people over here that can fish. And we'll take one of them over here that's just kind of standing around. Uh, you are... You're just standing around? I thought I could assign you as... Can I not assign you to be a... Hmm. I thought I could do that. Could have sworn I've done that before. Maybe I didn't. Alright, well... I guess I can have you over here to build. Since the other one's just standing around not doing anything. Yeah. Do our buildings need repairs? Which ones? Not you. So that one needs repairs. All right. Can I? Huh. I really could have thought that I could have them fix those things. What? What's going on here? You're going to do something? You're going to repair that? All right. Uh, crap. I need. I need you over here. To go repair that one. Are you going to go do that? Okay, good. I'm not sure what's going on here. I feel like they're supposed to do this. Um, can I... Maybe have you do that? Does that change you to villager? There we go. That's what I was looking for. See, I know I've done this before. Just couldn't think of what the trick was. I want to put you over here just for the moment to see if that will help you get more money. Because we actually need more money so I can upgrade the the uh, wood chopping business. It's not it's not doing too well. We're gonna need a crap ton more here for for the winter. All right, you're done. You're good. Everyone is good over here. Okay, come back over here. And are you are you done with that? You're not done with that. Actually, you know what? Here, where are you? Let's have you come over here, and you can come over here. And this should address fairly well our uh, food concerns. Now, I'm actually kind of tempted to get rid of this house. Build one maybe over here and then build a food silo over here. I think that might not be a bad idea. Okay, we're going to upgrade the woodcutter's lodge because that's kind of important right now. All right, look at that. First one in the game to hit Thane, I think. I think. And we're almost at the point where we have enough lore to do something else. Uh, merchants produce more money, more lore production, pillage. The fur coats one is not bad. That might not be bad, too. Fur coats, uh, no longer have reduced power when fighting outside your territory during winter. That's kind of specific. I'm, I'm not... But see, then it goes into better attack and all that sort of stuff. Uh, oh, there we go. Someone else just hit Thane. Uh, Erudition. Sailors, resources, marketplace, prices. Oh, that would be really good, actually, potentially. Hmm. Probably going to go fur coats here in just a moment. Because that goes into military weapons. I mean, I guess... Pillage does, too. I think I'll go with, with fur coats. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, so we're doing okay on this front. Our woodcutter should be able to get a fair amount of wood now. And then this one, we can take one of the spare villagers here, since we do have a couple of them. Send these guys over here. I'm going to send you... Um, we need a new mine over here, I think. So I'm going to send you over here, and we're going to have you build a mine. We need more stones. I think that's probably good over here. Where's our scout these days? Nope, not you. Uh, scout? Did he... Did the scout die? Oh, crap. I missed the scout dying. My bad. Uh, here. You need something to do. Be a scout. I totally missed the scout dying. My, 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 my bad. 
Ah, we've established contact with Gunnar. Leader of the Raven Clan. Where are you? Did you just send a scout in to say hi? Not sure how that happened since we don't have a scout. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, look at that. Construction of the quarry is completed. Good. Do we have anyone over here? Err. Crud. Do we have anyone over here who's not doing anything? Scout armor farmer. We don't have anyone standing around doing nothing. Man, we actually need that food production. It's kind of silly, but, um... I do kind of need it. I know, it needs more houses. It need, This clan needs a whole lot of crap, alright? Just saying. This clan needs a lot of stuff. We need more food because I'm not really bringing in enough food here. Uh, under attack. From whom? Draugr! Alright, you're gonna get rocked. So, good job, everyone. I'm just gonna let you mine that stone for right now. And I'm not gonna worry about taking anyone off of it. You kind of need to be doing what, what you're doing. Uh, we're going to need... Man, we're going to need more stuff here. We're actually at the point where we're almost about to run into unhappiness. And we cannot build any more villagers. This is... Oh, this is a pain. So I think what I need to do is upgrade a house. I'll upgrade that one. That's going to allow us to get one more villager, which is going to cause me all sorts of problems here. And then I'm going to need to upgrade the silo... And then I'm also going to need to upgrade the training camp. And I should probably upgrade the trading post. And I don't know, all, all sorts of things. Now, what do you want to sell? I guess we could sell, for right now, we can sell wood to one of them. We'll go to Gunnar. Why not? That'll get us a little extra money. That's going to let us do things like upgrade these buildings a little quicker. That'll be nice. So we're going to upgrade the silo first because I have a food issue here. There we go. Go ahead and upgrade that. We do have enough stone to keep doing this sort of stuff for a little while. Look at that. That actually helped just enough to kind of get through for right now. Still don't really have enough to colonize anything else at this point. This is... Uh, this is clearly where I, I start to run into problems, and I go, oh, crap, now what do I want to do, and how do I continue? But we'll figure that one out on the next one, because we've run out of time for right now. So I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.